Hello friends, let's work on a cutout, bunny cutout from Target. I got that a couple years ago. We actually made this project live, but I thought it was just too cute not to um, recap it and make it a little bit shorter. So um, I'm here on a mission to marry two of the techniques. One of them is going to be uh, chippy paint, and then the other one is going to be, of course, a crackle. And I'm going to try to attempt to make one right on one side. So as you can see, is I've added a little bit of the stain to my um, to my bunny cutout because I did want it to have a deeper tones. And of course, I added a little bit, and then I just wiped it off to make sure that it's all nicely uh, spread it. Okay, so now all is done. Everything is dry. You do need the Vaseline for the chippy technique. So what I decided to do is just use my uh, paintbrush and spread here and there a little bit of the Vaseline over the dry surface, uh, wood surface of it. And then to, to, I'm taking another paintbrush and I'm just adding in the areas where my Vaseline is not there. Of course, the Elmer's glue because that's how you make uh, the crackle. So here we go. I'm trying to avoid where the Vaseline was and that's it. Now, all what I need to do is just take the chalk paint and then nicely uh, apply and I've noticed that the way that I apply this, I try to apply in one direction and I try when I do so not to mix my glue, not to mix my Vaseline. So I do have a nice crackle happening. Okay, so all is covered. And now it's time to do the drying. The drying is supposed to expose, uh, um, obviously, the crackle and then lift up the paint where the Vaseline was. It truly is amazing to see how all those little finishes are happening with a little bit of the uh, hot air. But uh, again, we are not done. So now when finally everything is sort of dry, especially areas where the Elmer's glue was, where we were trying to accommodate our crackle, uh, that's easy. So now you could either use the um, the ascending block or you can use the scraper. But I decided that I'm just going to first try to wipe all out with the paper towels just to remove where the areas are. So here we go. That's all what I'm going to do. It. And as you wipe, obviously, the areas where my uh, Vaseline was, obviously it's not drying the paint. So that's just lifting up and leaving those little marks here and there. And of course, now to really, uh, you know, um, accent even more of the uh, chippy, I decided to break my popsicle stick in half and just simply go and scratch it all, all around where I remember the chippy was, uh, the, the Vaseline was to create that chippy. Love it. Absolutely love the way it looks. But as you can see is, as I am observing this right now, I feel like my ears should be a little bit lighter. I forgot about them. So I added a little bit of the chalk paint. So the deal here was to uh, install the napkin right on my bunny ears, a decoupage the napkin. So I just took a paintbrush, made it all wet, outlined it, thank goodness it's all different colors, and then just simply um, rip it off. It is for sure a much easier technique to do than simply using the pencil and outlining the shapes where you want to decoupage on. So uh, that at least works for me. So now th those steps are super easy and I think that side of the bunny is done. But of course, as with everything, you add a little bit of the Mod Podge and then just very small amount so there is not much of the wrinkles. And then you just simply decoupage your napkin right on it. And when you do so, you can actually um, spread the corners a little bit and even them out to make sure that they look presentable. But in this case, because it is ha the, my bunny has that vintage look, I actually did not mind if some napkins were just a little bit on the edges. So, of course, as with everything, I have to add some gold um, all on the edges to accent a little bit more. And now it's the fun time. Now it's time to sort of embellish them. So we decided that we're going to complement the napkins and we're just going to add some sari silk bow with a little bit of the uh, uh, flowers. As with everything, I do have too many choices of the flowers laying around, so <laughs> it was hard, but we finally made it happen. A little bit of the hot glue here and there, and we thought that we were all done. But of course, as with everything, I got myself some gold, and of course, now I'm going to look for some sparkle. So it was called for, we were called for the uh, diamond dust. So it's again a little bit of uh, matte patch over my napkins, a little bit of the sparkle right there, and my bunny ears are absolutely beautiful right now.
Okay, let's work on the other side. So the other side, we decided to just decoupage the ears because I did have that napkin that has absolutely awesome, um, awesome edges. So we decided to decoupage that napkin right on it and then just do the crackle all around. And it's again, the way you do the crackle vermis glue is exactly the same way you do it on the other side. You add a nice amount of uh, glue, then you are just going to use the paint on it. And then of course, check this crackle. Oh my gee, how gorgeous the crackle is. Um, so then of course, here we go. We're back to the decoupaging of uh, the ears only. Notice how beautiful is that napkin. So I decided to cut the pieces and sort of align them the same way on both ears, use the shading of it and leave it at that. Just leave it super simple. As with everything, I did not really measure. All what I did is just outline, thank goodness I see it right there, uh, the shades of the shape of the ears through the napkin. So I just simply wetted it, ripped it out. And I do want it to have that nice vintage look to it. And again, super easy, decoupaging it right on it with a little bit of the uh, Mod Podge, and it was all done. Just because we already have so much happening on the back of it, we were just really fussing. My idea was to install the bunny tail right on the bottom and then go with, um, and go with some kind of a bow on the top. But I guess I was advised to do it the other way. So now we have a hair where the ears are, and then uh, we're going to have a nice uh, bow right in the bunny butt. <laughs> okay, so that actually came out super cute. So just make sure to stay and watch the pictures right at the end of this video to see how this project uh, come together. I so hope that I inspired you to go ahead and finish a project both ways because you just don't know how you feel um, every day, how you want to see your decoration, and boom, all what you can do is just swap from one side to the other, and you have two different bunnies. So here is the one side, absolutely love the marriage with the chippy paint and uh, crackle, absolutely awesome, and I have to do with more of those. And then here is our uh, plain one with the, uh, I guess the fur right on the top. So it's again, thanks for watching, and if you did enjoy, please don't forget to sprinkle. Bye.